Hello everyone, so in this particular video we are going to learn about the CT. The full form of CT is a common table expression. So now let's understand what is a CT when actually we use. So CT generally we use whenever you have a complex query or whenever you have a requirement where you want to store your result on a temporary basis then what actually we can use, we can use a CT for that. Let's take one example. Let's understand first syntax and then we'll come here. So I have one table if I show you. Select star from employees table. This table I have. Now if I'll execute this. In this table if you'll see. If I'll execute this. I have employee ID, name, department ID and the salary. Now as of now you can see this is a very simple table right. Now let's take an example. Suppose this is a very complex query like the multiple joinings are there. 10 to 15 lines lines of the query is there. Now what actually you want? That result actually you want to store somewhere so that you can recall multiple times. So what actually we can do with the help of the CT, we can store this result. So what we have to write with CT is yes. and after that you have to write your uh, query, whatever the complex query and whatever the query you have and that result actually we can store directly in the CT. So what we have to write select star from CT. So syntax is very simple. What we have to write with and the CT and then S. You can give any name. I have given the name as a CT but you can give any name that also will work. With CT as open a bracket and after that whatever the query you have the complex query that actually you can write here and you have to close your bracket and directly you can call select star from CT. Now whatever the result set will be here right whatever the query result set will be here now it got stored into this CT and that CT actually we can call. Now if you, I will execute this together you can see it's working. So whenever you have a requirement where you have a we want to store your result query result somewhere we can use a CT function. Now let's come to the definition part. A common table expression is SQL is a temporary result set that you can reference within a select insert update or the delete statement. CT are often used to simplify complex query, make queries more readable and allow for the recursive query. CT are powerful for organizing the SQL code, especially in a multi-step analysis or when calculating the intermediate result. Reusable logic, once defined you can refer to CT multiple times within the main query. So whenever you have a complex query whenever and that result actually you want to store somewhere at high level you can say we can use a CT for that. Now we have a few question and based on that question actually we want to see like we will see like how actually we can use a CT in a proper way. Suppose this is the table I have employee ID name department ID and the salary. Now my question is like find the third highest salary from the employee table. So from this uh, table I have to find out the who is the third highest salary employees details. So you can see who is the third highest employee salary. This is the this is the highest salary right. Then 50,000 this is the 48,000 that actually we have to find out. So what actually I will do first based on their salary descending from highest to the lowest I will first try to give one rank. So we have learned about the windows function right. So what I will do I will use a windows function. I will assign a rank based on their highest to the lowest salary. So I will use a row number because we don't have any duplicate as of now. So row number what I will use over I will use order by salary. So based on the highest to the lowest salary I will assign one rank I will give the name as a RN from employees table. Employees table. Now if I will execute this you will see with this query what we have done we have created a new column RN and based on their highest to the lowest salary we have assigned a rank. So 52,000 is the highest salary so he got rank 1 then the 50,000 so rank 2 then 48,000 so rank 3 45,000 so rank 4. Now with the help of this query we have generated this result. Now on top of this we want to apply a filter like if I will do a filter like where RN equal to the 3 then I will get the third highest earning employee. If I will do RN equal to the 4 then I will get the 4th highest salary employee. So this kind of the use case where you want to store your result somewhere and that actually on top of this you want to perform some more operation we can use a CT. So how actually I can write with CT as and this result set right. Now if I will do select star from CT, CT I will get the same result. Now whatever the result set here we have that got stored into the CT. Now if I will call this 
select star from CT, it will work. Now one thing you have to remember, if you will directly call select star from CT, it will not work. You have to call the whole thing together, then only it will work. Now you can see, uh, we are able to do, now on top of this, we can apply a filter. So if I write where Rn equal to the 3, then I will get the third highest salary, right? So if I execute this, you can see Charlie, he is earning is 48,000, he is the third highest salary. Now if I do Rn equal to the 4, then I will get the fourth highest earning employee. You can see Bob, his salary is 45,000, he is the fourth highest salary. So like that, whenever you get a requirement where you want to store your results somewhere and on top of that you want to perform some action, we can use a city. Now my next question is like, I have to find out the second lowest salary of employee. These are the very important interview question also. So let's understand how actually we can write. So we have to find out the second lowest. So based on the lowest to highest, what I will do? First, I will try to generate a ranking. So how actually I can write a code for that? Select star, comma, row number over order by salary I will sort based on the ascending order salary ascending RN from employees from employees table now if I will execute this so what I have done I am generating one uh, number a rank column Based on the lowest to the highest salary, I am generating a rank. So, 45,000 is the lowest salary, then the 48,000, so he got the rank 2. 50,000, he is the third, so we got the rank 3. So, from lowest to the highest, I have generated a number. On top of this, we can write a CT. So, CT is just a name. We can give any name. So, if I will give the name as a with monies, S. So, and I will close here. Now, Whatever the result set, right? Whatever the result set, that will get stored here. So, CT is just a name, whatever the name, right? But the syntax is same. So, if I do select star from monies, what I will get? The All the result, actually, we get stored into the monies. On top of this, actually, we can apply a filter. So, if I will do where, we have to find out the second lowest. So, what I will write? Where Rn equal to the 2, right? Where Rn equal to the 2. Then I will get the second lowest salary of employee. You can see second lowest salary of employee is a Charlie. So these are the very important interview question also. The, to find out the third highest salary, second lowest salary. So in that kind of the calculation, we can use a CTE also. To filter on top of the uh, Windows function. So I hope you got the idea about the CTE.